Hello friends, this is Debbie from Access Grand Canaria. Um, currently we're having a bit of a heat wave. We've got I'm sat on the terrace at the minute, it's 36 degrees in the shade on the terrace. We've got the Kalima here from the Sahara, Sahara dust's in the air. I don't know if you can see it looks a little bit misty out there, but that's actually the dust. The sun's not came over this side just yet it's uh, directly above me but it will be coming on the terrace this afternoon we had uh, record temperatures in the evening it's one of the hottest places uh, in Europe at the moment I do believe we had uh, between 34 and 36 degrees last night at like two o'clock in the morning depends on where you are on the island um, very hot I don't think anybody slept last night uh, so I'm here to talk to you about uh, what we do when it's hot I know in the UK we've got some hot weather at the moment and more hot weather coming next week I do believe the wind's going to be taking up some of this dust uh, to you and I've lived here 18 years and we have ways of dealing with the, the heat um, for example all my doors are currently closed my windows are currently closed to try and keep the cool air inside the house so this morning early I was up everything open having a draft going through the house and that's something that we do I mean obviously if you have air conditioning it's a lot easier but if you don't uh, the trick is to open up all your windows and all your doors early in the morning and then you close them uh, for the rest of the day close the curtains uh, and keep inside the house as cool as possible and then as soon as it gets to evening when the sun starts to go down you open everything up and let the air back in we call it aire corriente which is basically just causing a draft going through the house and that is the easiest way to keep inside the house cool now the best way to keep cool is to have showers so a shower as soon as you get up shower in the middle of the day you don't necessarily need to use a soap on your body and <laughs> um, everything will shower and definitely before you go to bed if you're struggling to sleep in the heat the best way to do it is to have a cool shower you don't want a hot shower if you have a hot shower what's going to happen is you're going to heat up the house so um, just a tiny bit of hot water if you can't cope with a cold shower I mean here our cold water runs warm because the water pipes aren't too far underneath ground underneath the ground um, so definitely showering is what you need to do and like I say not necessarily each time with soap uh, the same with the animals I mean if you're coming on a holiday uh, you probably won't be bringing uh, your dog with you with you but uh, my little dog little Yorkshire Terrier uh, she has a little shower every day in the middle of the afternoon just to keep her cool and she loves it um, and obviously water is your best friend now if you're on holiday you're going to be uh, in the swimming pool you'll find that the beaches on hot days are full everyone who lives here knows that's the coolest place if you're going to get cool air um, dipping in the sea to cool off um, is the trick but obviously it's also very hot and going out the house if you don't need to you don't you don't do it if you're on holiday you're in the swimming pool remember even if you're in the water uh, you're going to be getting sunburns and if it looks um, if it's really really hot and you can't see the sun like you've got here today um, that's not mist or anything you're really really going to get burnt and I've seen some children coming here on holiday um, the worst absolute bubbling skin because the parents have been using the the long-term sun cream and not reapplied it had the children in the pool all day and they get really sick and they're off at the health center getting their injections um, uh, like drip it's called swero um, seeing some horrific uh, injuries because water is your friend but also you are catching the sun so living here what we do is we do everything first thing on the morning we do nothing on the afternoon other than yeah, we have our siesta. Siesta isn't necessarily sleeping, but it's been inside. So the hottest time of the day, we're inside and we don't cook. If you're going to cook, if you're on holiday and you want to cook, then you get up early and you do it early in the morning, um, prepare it, put it in the fridge. And, and if you need to uh, eat something warm at lunchtime, heat it up in the microwave. You don't want to be warming your um, apartment or villa, wherever you're staying. You don't want to be heating it up by putting uh, the cooker on um, 
if you want to, if you really must have a meal, especially if you're on a holiday, go out on an evening and eat your meal on an evening, have a sandwich during the day, have a salad. Um, generally, people don't eat a lot. I mean, I haven't hardly eaten anything for the last few days. I've just been picking, having a little sandwich. Um, if you need to eat, go out and have a tapper. You know, you don't need to have a full uh, big meal. I mean, some people do eat a lot of food, but in the heat, it's just too hot. Sandwiches, salad, or eat out so you don't heat up your apartment. Now, um, like I said about having showers, have a couple of showers, that's the best way to cool yourself down. If you're uh, on holiday and you're in a place with air conditioning, which most places do have, obviously the cost of electricity is through the roof at the moment, you don't need to have your air conditioning on continuously and you shouldn't sleep with it. I'm no doctor, I've lived here a long time, but I know that you shouldn't be sleeping or else you're gonna have a bad chest. It's not good for you to sleep with the air conditioning on. And also if you have the air conditioning on, have your patio doors closed, have the windows closed. So the idea of the air conditioning is you switch it on, cool down the room, switch off the air conditioning. If you have it on continuously and you have the windows and doors open, you have a high probability that it's going to start dripping water down the walls. I've had people who've been on holiday and they've had their laptops on the table, which is underneath the air conditioning unit, had it on all the time, doors open. Basically, your air conditioning is then trying to air condition all the outside. You're never going to get the, the whole of the air cooled down. So basically, cool your room. If you've got children, cool the room down, switch it off before they go to bed. If you've had a shower before you go to bed, a cool shower. Obviously, just sleep in your underwear. You don't need to be wearing uh, pyjamas and everything. You're just going to get warm. You don't need blankets on, a sheet if you need to be covered and uh, if you've done uh, the, the suggestions I've made you should be able to, to keep cool now as a woman we all wear lots of well we don't wear lots of makeup but some people do uh, if you're wearing makeup this is not the place to be and not the time to be wearing loads of foundation as you can see I've just got my moisturizer on a little bit of a mascara and lip gloss obviously moisturizing my lips um, you'll use a lot of uh, face cream because you will dry up like a prune um, especially with having all the showers as well and this air is so dry it's it's a wind that's coming over from the Sahara it's really warm wind you can actually see my plants blowing at the minute but the sun's not here so my thermometer is telling me uh, it's about 35 at the moment um, so it's going to get hotter um, I was out this morning went into the village and um, one of my neighbours in the village was telling me that it was 46 degrees in the sun uh, that's a hot temperature. I've been here when it's been over 50. I've uh, been here many times when it's over 50 and you obviously feel sorry for the people working with the tourists outside, people selling tickets for your excursions, people working on the boats and excursions. It's very, very hot. So um, when you're drinking, obviously we always have water with us all the time. So if you're a tea drinker and you must have your tea, your coffee, if you're drinking your wine, obviously you're on holiday, you want to be relaxed and enjoying yourself, every drink you have have another glass of water so every drink you have a glass of water um, and also don't be having your water too cold because if you have really cold water and your body's really hot what will happen is you'll get stomach cramps um, so obviously if you must have ice cubes in your drink they'll melt really fast but it's personally I wouldn't advise to be having icy cold drinks unless you know, you're not going to be drinking them straight away, in which case get icy cold drinks and, and have them when they get to a natural temperature. Obviously not warm. You don't want to be drinking warm water either. Um, but um, ice cubes and icy cold water is not a friend to your stomach. Also your lips. I see people um, who drink it. <laughs> people go out and they drink a lot in, uh, when they're on holiday. Some people do. Uh, and they end up with lots of scabs around their, their lips with their, their, their ice cubes. The ice cubes are safe. I mean, all the restaurants and bars and homes, we all buy produced ice in bags and they're made with proper water. So you won't get sick from the ice cubes here in the Canary Islands, um, at least. Um, so, like I say, not too much icy water, icy drinks, because it's not going to be great for you. Um, as a, a woman, like I say, if you're wearing thick uh, uh, foundation, it's going to just fall off your face if you wear a lot of eye makeup. You know, if you're not able to set it really, really well, it's just going to fall down your face, going to make you feel uncomfortable. Um, 
here uh, in the summer most definitely bring your uh, spray deodorant as well as your roll on spray around uh, your stomach and your back and it'll stop you having sweat marks all over your clothes which is not pleasant at all well lo loose clothes you don't want to be um, uh, for example ladies uh, with their fancy underwear if you can have outfits where you don't need to wear uh, tight fitting underwear you're going to be much more comfortable um, what else can I say your hair you can see my hair's just stuck up you just don't want hair around your neck um, don't worry about your hair straighteners and your blow dry you don't want to be blow drying and, and heating up just get your hair up uh, or go to the hairdressers and get your hair done a lot of people do that you, you just don't want to be if you have if you straighten your hair I mean a lot of people do their hair straighteners or put in beautiful curls the humidity it's just going to drop and frizz uh, you're wasting your time tie your hair up would be uh, a top suggestion uh, I wrote a little list here what else have I got on my list um, uh, if you're walking out and about um, an idea uh, because it gets so hot and everybody's <laughs> this heat is so hot everybody gets sweaty um, shorts are absolutely perfect stop you chaffing um, most definitely and, um, and there's a reason why even the guys uh, in the Canary Islands they shave off just about all their hair uh, I won't go into too many more details but uh, that's what they do to pre prevent chaffing and uh, you, know, you, you want to keep as cool as possible which means loose um, and uh, I've got there I've come up with that um, like I say in the afternoons we just don't go out uh, we stay in uh, when my daughter was younger obviously she wanted to be at the beach all the time we would do the beach but we would not be out in the afternoon we would go to the beach at five six o'clock you've still got plenty of hours um, and it's so much better for the children the sun's not as strong as well on an evening um, well, this is a good one. When I first moved here, obviously it took me a long time to adjust to the heat. A very different weather to the north of England. Um, and I started feeling quite ill in the hot weather. And uh, colleagues of mine in the office said to me, uh, you, you're just not eating properly. And by that, what they meant was, I was still following a diet of low salt, and low sugar because obviously that's what we are told uh, is healthy for us but in the heat if you start to feel unwell get yourself a bag of crisps and a mars bar or some chocolate something sweet you you you, you need to have sugar you need to have salt in the hot water in the hot weather and um, mm -mm. yeah I think I've pretty much done everything on my list so um, I know it's going to be getting hotter this afternoon, uh, I've been out already today, like I say, I was told it was 46 degrees, it was horrendous, um, my terrace is a little bit cooler but I am going to be going into my house now um, and it is quite cool in there, I have the air conditioning which isn't on at the moment and I will be putting it on for 5-10 minutes at a time, uh, keeping everything closed and then tonight I will open everything up. Uh, I'll be going in the shower again. This is my third shower of the day. Um, just needs two minutes in the shower just to cool off. Don't need to use soap. Obviously in the morning and night I do, but if, when you're trying to keep cool, just a bit of um, cold water. Um, and and the, the aim is not to heat up the apartment doing anything at any time and just keep cool so if you're experiencing a hot heat wave which I believe uh, I'm hearing on the news that the UK has got at the moment and uh, obviously it's just the beginning of summer if you're coming on holiday these are some tips that I uh, suggest you use to keep cool and um, that wind's still up it's uh, to describe it um, because obviously you don't get the Scirocco uh, up in the north of uh, Europe it's like when you cook in with the oven and you open the oven door it's like walking in a, a, a fan assisted oven so it's drying all your skin outside but it's drying inside and you can actually taste the sand inside your stomach as well so stay safe everybody uh, we're on an orange alert for our weather at the moment because it is quite hot but it's not on red um, and we're not expected to go over 50 um, but hopefully it'll start cooling down the next few days but I do know it's going to be blowing up 
the Atlantic. Um, so yeah, this is uh, top tips from uh, an expat living in uh, Gra living on Gran Canaria in the Canary Islands, um, and how we deal with the hot weather. So stay safe, take care, and don't forget your water. <laughs>